a short video overview shows how Virtuoso's codeless test automation using natural language to author test steps can be used for testing Salesforce. Now in Virtuoso I use natural language. For instance, if I want to log in, I could just say click login. So I use natural language syntax with what I see on the screen to immediately start authoring what we call journeys. So end to end tests where I could be logging in, open the sales module, then go ahead and start creating an account and an opportunity all using natural language. Now in terms of what this actually looks like in action, if we go through, when you first fire up Virtuoso, you put in your URL, which the great thing here is you see I have a placeholder where I can define an environment. So you can reuse your tests across different Salesforce instances, for example, to then come in and immediately start authoring with our live authoring. So for instance, logging in, I can go ahead and say, write james.b at virtuoso.qa, look at the screen and it says username. So I write that in and we immediately start running that test step by looking in the DOM of the application to discover the element. And you can see on screen that it's worked. Then I could write my password in the password field, followed by then click on, let's say the login button. So it's easy to author test automation with absolutely no setup required. Obviously I didn't put in the right password there. to so be able to then create the automated tests. Now, the great thing is that also you're able to come in and map in sequences. So where I've got my login steps pre-authored, then I could add those to our checkpoint library and then basically I could reuse those. So equally, if I say reuse as my test case, I could look in and say, I know I've got the login steps, so let's drop those in. Then I want to come to, let's say, the sales dashboard so I can open that up. And then maybe I want to come and create an account, for example. So basically I've got the means to be able to drop in steps that have been pre-created with placeholder data. So for instance, I can use variables. This is coming from the environment, but also I can couple this with test data. So I could come in and set up a test data table with variables and my scenarios so that when I create, let's say an account, my test isn't tied to a single instance it's coming in and allowing me to use that test data as variables in my test. Now, in addition as well, we can not only testing at the UI, but in Salesforce has fantastic APIs. So for instance, in your test, you could set up to make a token call and get the token, then pass account data through the APIs, do the same with an opportunity to make your test really efficient so that then when you drop into the UI, let's say for a test that says update the status of an existing opportunity, you're setting the data up via the APIs, only do the steps in the UI that relate to the test case, and then you could even do things like delete the data. Now, when the tests are running, so these can be executed, they can be executed in parallel, run with different test data sets, then these are running on Virtuoso's infrastructure. We're on AWS, where the tests start running immediately. You're gathering things like indicators of performance. You'll see we're also capturing things at the network level. But also what we're able to do is because Salesforce is a very dynamic application and when the tests are running, what we're doing is we're using self healing to be able to automatically heal steps where there are dynamic changes. So for example, where we capture all of the IDs at the first time of running the test, where the test is running on the next release, then we see that we are re-identifying the element and self healing where there are changes either in the element structure or it could be the labels using machine learning driven self healing. So all of these points here are self healing points. So for any application, Salesforce or other business systems, other browser based applications, basically we reduce down the amount of time it takes to maintain tests. So the key benefit really is from testing Salesforce with Virtuoso that we have reusable assets that you can uh, actually load in. We have API calls already built. We already have things like the login steps and default environments you can load in to your environment to get going. But then from there, it's very easy to continue to build out your functional UI regression tests, incorporating also integrations to scale out your testing, become more efficient and more productive. And of course, validate at speed your Salesforce deployments.